Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. What's a place that is easy to enter, but difficult to leave? Apparently my house if you are a moth. Or a fly. The door is wide open. Why won't you fly out the door? Stop hitting the wall right next to it and leave. Grandma's house. That ain't no joke. Want a slice of pie before you go. IKEA. It's the Wonka factory of furnishing stores. Everything has a wacky name, and you have to go forward to go back. Poverty. Plenty of people don't realize how flimsy it all is. One or two mistakes and you can find yourself in a financial situation that's going to take years to escape. Addiction. There are so many things nowadays, not only drugs, that can be addicting and really hard to quit. I've dealt with a lot of addicts in my family. The only thing that I've ever seen get them on the right path is nearly dying or being told they'll die if they continue. It doesn't matter how much they harm their loved ones. It doesn't matter how much strain they put on all of those around them. It doesn't matter to them that they scare the fuck out of their little brother. It's sickening. Don't do meth. The Internet. After a while of being exposed to it, you find yourself being sucked in. A little while ago, my internet was not working. Those were the best goddamn days of my life. Underwater caves, specifically without cave training slash gear. The water is air clear, so it's very inviting. Super easy to go just a bit too far. Once you're in, there are a lot of ways to die. You can take a turn down a side passage without realizing it, stir up the bottom with poor technique, have a light failure without proper backups, stay too long and not reserve enough gas for exit, get stuck, have an unfixable rake failure without redundancy, etc. Lots of really experienced open water divers have kicked the bucket in caves. Sometimes they were right near the exit, they just didn't have the training or gear to get there. Cave diving is fucking awesome, but you have to be prepared for it, and your PADIDM cert will just make you more confident as you swim to your death. Edit, I'm gonna take advantage here and plug Global Underwater Explorers. They're a cave and technical dive training agency with a focus on standardization, safety, and exploration slash conservation of the underwater world. Underwater caves are some of the most spectacular places on Earth, but you have to know what you're doing for your own safety and the protection of such a fragile environment. If you're in any way curious about them, look into GU. They turn out top-notch cave divers. It's one of the most unique experiences possible, but you need the training and gear to do it safely. A casino. Losing in a casino the first time you go there is good luck because you will probably not return again, winning in your first time there is bad luck because you will probably come back and most likely waste a lot of money there. Notoriously mental institutions. Once you've convinced someone you're a psychopath, it's nearly impossible to convince the staff otherwise. Or maybe psychotic. Psychopaths are the people with zero empathy that become serial killers in pop culture and sometimes CEOs in real life. They have issues but generally a pretty good grasp on reality and the consequences of their actions. Psychotic is when reality has left the building and the moon people are trying to kill you in the shower so you can't bathe anymore and keep chewing on your fingers and randomly screaming for some reason. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory I went there a few times, and it was easy getting in, but there was so many steps to just leave the facility slash clean room. Also, I found that flights to the area always seemed to get delayed on the way back to the east coast. Any kind of volunteering. For me it is teaching children's church. Once you start there is no easy exit. Girl scout leader, flag football coach, company birthday planner. I don't know. Just about any volunteer gig. I volunteered at a youth house and the number of volunteers kept dropping, I couldn't abandon it or otherwise it would have to seize their operations. It wore me down and dragged my mental state down with it. Mormonism. 
you need a lawyer to expunge your personal information to fully leave it. Most members, me included, agree, are coerced, to joining at age 8. Edit, thanks for the awards. Not sure what to do with them. Can I donate the coins to a charity or anything like that? Mexico if you're entering from the United States. Seriously, you can just walk into Mexico whenever you want, but leaving you have to wait in a very long line and get your passport checked and sometimes your car slash bag searched even if you got nothing illegal going on, I love Mexico, but man, going back into the states is always a hassle lol. Friend zone. You should either come to terms and embrace your position as a friend regardless of your feelings exist and whatever happens, happens, or if you can't handle it break of. The rest is just an ever-expanding black hole of unresolved pain and decrepit dreams that is not worth it. Trust me. If you are to continue this relationship look for a friend, do not hope for a lover even if your love is there. If it happens it will. This world. My mom told me a few weeks before she died that getting out of this world shouldn't be so hard when coming in, birth, was so easy. The older I get, the more I understand what she meant. Self-loathing. For me it's led to a complete absence of motivation to do anything in life, and as a result my grades have been dropping and I'm currently performing at my absolute worst, if I do any worse I will fail. It hurts because I used to be a straight-A student and my grades were a source of pride for me and now they are just a source of shame. This leads to more self-loathing and it just becomes a vicious cycle that I'm struggling to break. A mountain. When you're looking up, you see everything. But when you're looking down, all you see is some primate covered in fabric. My sister was like yes, there is a shelf right below your foot. Guess what? There was no shelf. Rip my trousers and rip painless nights for the next week. The education system in modern society, you leave you won't get a chance at a good career you stay you waste over 20 years of life and maybe have a chance at a good career. There are some really deep answers to this, and all I can think of is a f in corn maze. I have no sense of direction, so unless I break through the outer wall of corn stalks I am never getting out. Marriage. Once you are in it's hard to leave because you depend on the other person for some things, financially, emotionally, and so on, and having children make it even harder to leave. Also divorce lawyers are really expensive. The military. If you make it through all the tests you're guaranteed a job. However when you want to leave you have to have numerous interviews which is basically sitting down with different people while they try to strong arm you into staying in. Strip club VIP rooms. You are kind of worried when going in but once you're in you just sort of have to commit to being a baller. Some weird stuff can go down in there as well, this video sort of brings back memories. 6th grade summer camp. Tore my heart out to leave all my new friends, especially that one girl with that hair and those eyes. You know the one I'm talking about. Not really a place but an abusive relationship. I ended up having to leave with no warning and move to a new city without telling anyone just to get away. I didn't even realize it was abusive for so long which is so common. And then when I did I had no way to safely leave. He tried to throw me over my balcony when I tried to break up with him so I had to change tactics. Military. They trap you in. Pay you every two weeks. Healthcare. Schooling. Training for skilled labor. Housing pay. Travel opportunities. If you get married they pay you more just for being married. They don't really prepare you too well for life outside the military unless you get a contracting or civilian opening on your way out the door or have private industry connections. And that's if you have training that transfers to the outside word of normalcy. The Sobeys parking lot in my city. Traffic floods into the parking lot at decent speeds but there's like 4 stop signs you have to wait at repeatedly when attempting to leave. Canadian Tire LOL, at least the one where I live. Feels like you have to jump through hoops to get through the exit, if you don't buy anything. Oriental Pearl Tower in Shanghai. 
I went to the revolving restaurant. It was okay and the views were nice, but getting out was madness. Multiple lines, several elevators, a propaganda show of sorts, and finally a gift shop after the last elevator. Probably 45 minutes to leave the place. Pretty weird experience overall. My loft, stairs are really easy but getting down and out of the loft requires a lot of skill most individuals won't have. Likewise my basement has a tumble dryer, near the top and then a set of steep some stairs, if you get over the tumble dryer getting down the stairs is easy, but come to the top of some stairs and needing to climb over a tumble dryer is a very difficult maneuver. For automotive enthusiasts, a speed shop. A good speed shop can have you trapped inside by all the chrome and different parts and pieces you could put on your ride. I'm regularly picking up parts for one build or another and can't escape with a couple extra bits and pieces. Bars in Thailand My mum told me while traveling in the mid-90s she went to a Thai bar and got a can of coke and was then forced to pay the equivalent to 200 pounds to leave the bar she said it was a culture shock to learn that life had no value out there. Serving, there is no other job that you can make so much money and work so few hours. Pick up what shifts you need or want and give away what you don't. Fabric slash art slash parts slash hardware stores. They are time and money suckers to anyone with maker hands. I go in for one thing, and find myself walking out with five new projects, and at least one thing bought because it caught my eye and I hope to find inspiration for another project. A relationship with a narcissist. They act all charming and say all the right things. Then once they have you under their wing, they start manipulating you into believing that everyone hates you and you'd be nothing without them. They'll also threaten your life and the lives of your family and friends if you dared tell them about the abuse. Parking lots in Houston, Texas, especially if you drive low cars, whose spoilers constantly scrape the concrete when entering inclined parking lots. Bottom of most sedans look like a massive cat attacked them. PPD, you have no choice. You're either on one end or the other or lost in between. Some get it others don't even believe it's real because it didn't happen to them. For me sporting goods stores especially the hunting, fishing, and firearm sections. For my wife Target. For my two-year-old our basement if the TV has bluey on. A prison all you need to do is whack little Timmy when he's on the way to the park and you've got yourself a free tree for a while. Staircase railings. That empty space between baluster supports. Underneath the handrail, we all stuck our heads in between those poles as a kid to look down on whatever was happening in the main room. Easy to fit your head in, not always easy to get out. Social media. I'm trying my best to quit it. Right now I've uninstalled three apps that I've noticed take up too much of my time. Slowly MICRO dosing so then it's not too abrupt but hopefully I'll be able to quit it all together. Relatives house in small town USA. You have to initiate the goodbye sequence at minimum a half hour in advance with a subtle, well, ought to get home and do some chores, followed by a, anyway, two to three conversations later. At this point, you can bank on at minimum 15 minutes more before you actually leave. Our slash collapse and the entire rabbit hole of truly learning how unimaginably fucked we are and how we're destroying the biosphere. 20,000 20,000. That's how many species of living beings go extinct each year on average. We as a species are the equivalent of cancer on planetary scale and every single disaster we face is deserved. Walmart because there are no cashiers. Ever. I live in Houston and at any given time you will find no more than three cashiers running registers and no less than 50 people wanting to check out. Meanwhile self-checkout keeps telling me to put my shit in the bag and there's the greeter waiting to check not only my receipt but the 10 or so people in front of me. Luckily I rarely go there because heb is better. Hell, addiction, an abusive relationship, the house of someone who has kidnapped you, my grandma's house, school, your mum's womb, hospital asylum slash mental hospital, being sectioned, prison, 
whatever temporary or council accommodation they put you in when you've been homeless, North Korea, a cryo chamber, the build a bear workshop, sweet shop, wearing a play suit slash jumpsuit, especially when you need the toilet. Jumbo. If you want to buy something you have to go through the entire store. Their setup is absolutely horrible now but I guess that their priorities is that people buy more crap rather than what they went in for and then go straight to pay. Jehovah's Witnesses. They coerce you into getting baptized at a young age, and once you're baptized, if you quit, your family is obliged to shun you. This is a religion where people actually stay inside just so they can continue to talk to their family. That's why some JWS are classified by ex-members as PIMO, physically and mentally out, meaning they didn't quit but want to. A study was conducted wherein psychologists got themselves admitted to a mental hospital, then tried to convince the staff that they were sane and healthy enough to leave. The staff didn't believe them. Every behavior was pathologized, if they were queuing up to get lunch, they were exhibiting oral acquisitive symptoms. So that's my answer, a mental hospital. The gift shop at Loch Ness. I kid you not, once you go in you cannot get out. Every time I exited, through the exit door, it just led to another gift shop. LOL. It took five or six tries before I was able to, finally, get outside. I've seen a couple specific religions noted below, see Scientology and Mormonism. But I'd just say religion in general. Especially if your family slash community are heavily involved in said religion. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.